So this has ended up being a bit of an abstract piece that I was very happy with. Don't know if it's any good or not, but I like the look of it. Um, so um, I'm learning to use the watercolours. They're very new to me. And um, what I've done is I've put gesso down on mixed media paper. And I actually found this so much easier to work with with the watercolours. Because if you look closely, you can see there is actually textures, especially in the pale grey one. There's a lot of lines appearing, um, which I think is really nice. Um, so this ended up, I think it looks like planets. Um, somebody else said it looks like an underwater scene. Whatever it looks like, I was happy with it. And that's what matters. Um, so I've used um, yellow okra, grey, blue grey and burnt sienna. They're the only colours that I've used. Um, I love how the burnt sienna sits on top of the blue grey. Um, and what I, I've done as well is because the... When I'm putting the colours on, because the paint does dry very quickly, especially when you do it on uh, in very thin layers, um, I've kind of used tissue paper to dab at it, um, like so, and I really liked that effect. Um, I'm not sure how professional that is, <laughs> um, but it's just trial and error, isn't it? What happens here is I'm putting paint down and it is really quite dry and I'm not really happy with those dots. So I've ended up adding water on top of them and then using the tissue paper to dab again. I really, really like um, how those three colours go together. It's really, it's probably going to be my new favourite combination. <laughs> I love looking at all the abstract pictures and they look wonderful to me but um, whenever I try and paint my own I always think hmm, is that okay? Is it not? <laughs> also, with this picture I am terrible at leaving white space. I always feel the urge to fill every gap. Um, but I've left white space in this one which makes me very happy. Also, when I finished this one, after the doodling, I actually felt like it was finished. I have a tendency to never know when to stop. And then I pass the point where I know I've gone too far, but then I keep trying to rectify that. Um, so I'm hoping that's another thing that will come with practice. Oh, I love that colour. It is so nice. Blue grey. Um, and I just love the thin layers on top of the gesso. Gesso is my new favourite friend for watercolour. <laughs> um, when I start the doodling, I use a really tiny pen. I think it's a micron point zero three, um, And I find that really quite difficult to work with. It feels like it's too, the, the paint around it is too overwhelming for the size of the pen. Um, but I watch other people create beautiful pictures with these tiny, tiny, fine pens. And I really want to recreate that myself. But I ended up head, heading for the, the Posca pens. And I think in this case, it did work. The kind of heavy handed pen with the delicate um, watercolours. So I haven't actually got the Posca pen doodling on film. But what I have done is I've showed the picture for three seconds at each angle. And um, because... 
I'm quite happy with it at every angle and I can't decide on one that I prefer. Um, is that a good sign? <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoy watching it as much as I enjoyed creating it. Though I did like those wee dots with that micro pen. It's here. I didn't like that. I just, it just didn't, I don't know. It just, just didn't work <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and I'll keep posting more. Thank you.